please watch part one first so you can understand this part. So the two parameters, or to be specific, the two questions that help us to classify a product in a cosmetic or a drug category are what is the intended use of this product? The second question is how is this product is presented to the public? The first question, what is the intended use of the product? means what is the company's intention with this product? What is it used for? If it's going to be in the realm of cleaning, perfuming, keeping in good shape and correcting a body odor, then well done, it's a cosmetic product. So the company here use very cosmetic friendly language to stay safe. Now for the second question of the parameter is how is the product presented to the public? by the brand. Here is where brands like to play sneaky a little bit. Some brands love to play with a claim, but let's first understand what is a claim. The definition is that a claim is a text, image, symbol, or any sign that is present on the product packaging, the brand website, in advertisement, on social media, etc. to inform the consumer about the product characteristics and benefits. And according to the European regulation article 20 section 1, in the labeling, making available on the market and advertising of cosmetic products, text, names, trademark, pictures, and figuratives or other sign shall not be used to imply that these products have characteristics or function which they don't have. So for a product to be cosmetic, it must check the previous two boxes or question. What is the product intended use and how is the product presented to the public by the company? Follow for part three where we look at example to understand this more.